Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this new series. If you guys don't know me, my name is Sydney and today I'm going to be exposing you guys. So I decided I'm going to start a new series. Every Friday is what I'm kind of thinking. I am going to be reading your embarrassing stories, confessions, anything else I can think of. And if you want to participate in them, I will put links down below. I always post on my Instagram story for these kind of videos too. But I love doing more interactive videos that include you guys. So I will be exposing you, but not really because these are 100% anonymous. So let's pull up the Google form. I feel like this will be so fun because I can tell your guys' stories because I can't think of any good stories from my boring life. Also, do we like this hair today? I still can't decide. I can't decide if I look like a five-year-old. My laptop was dead, so I just run very slow on that 1%. Okay, so today I'm going to be reading your embarrassing stories, and there is a lot. So this is definitely going to be like a parts video. This is part one, and we're just going to go for like 10 minutes and read some of these funny stories. Here we go. Freshman year, I crap my pants in front of everyone. Needless to say, wish I were dead. Oh my gosh. That is pretty embarrassing. I don't know if it gets much more embarrassing than that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I went pee in a sink at my boyfriend's house. He only has one bathroom and I needed to go, but he wouldn't get off the toilet. <laughs> so like his kitchen sink or what? That is crazy. Okay, but I kind of relate because one time me and all my friends had to go to the bathroom at the same time and we thought it'd be funny. So one of us was on the toilet peeing, one of us was in the bathtub, one of us was on the sink. I was on the sink. Anyways, that's a story for another time. Actually, that's a story for never. I would be mortified at this. Okay, one time at church, my boyfriend and I were making out. First of all, where's the logic here? <laughs> and the pastor caught us, and then he proceeded to tell the congregation. That isn't so embarrassing. I feel like that is not right. Like, come on, keep that private. Thank you. I'm sorry, each time I read these, I'm shocked. Okay, one time I was having adult apple juice. I threw up in the vent of the house right in front of everyone, including the owner. <laughs> I would feel so bad. Why in the vent? You may as well just throw up on the floor because the vent would be so much harder to clean. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, I love embarrassing period stories because I feel like we can all relate, so. I was on my period and bled through my light colored jeans during a drama rehearsal. I had a bright red spot on my butt and my crush was in the class. I think everyone has had a situation like this. I personally haven't bled through any light pairs of pants, so I've been fine. But I think we've all been there and it's normal. It is embarrassing, but it happens and it's gonna be okay. Hopefully you're looking back laughing on it now. Okay, are you guys okay? Because I've been getting a lot of I peed my pants situation. Like, when I was 10 or 11, I went to New York City with my mom and my grandmother, and I accidentally peed my pants in the Central Park Zoo. It was a fantastic day. Y'all need to learn to go to the bathroom when you need to pee. <laughs> Here's another one. My first year working at my current job, I peed my pants at our staff Christmas party. I had to leave 30 minutes early, and don't know if anybody noticed. Y'all, there are toilets for a reason. Oh my gosh. Here's enough. Literally, it's one after another. I was in 10th grade in English class, and my friends knew I had to pee. So they kept talking about things that made me laugh, and I peed my pants in front of the class. I, I just, I don't think I, okay. I've like kind of peed my pants a little bit, like a laugh and a little bit of pee comes out, but like just full on peed my pants, if that's what you guys are talking about, like, how? <laughs> You guys are crazy. I decided to, yes, with some friends, and then we got pulled over. My uncle was the cop, but he didn't tell on me. He let us go, and he still acts weird around me. That's so awkward. I mean, shout out for like that situation, because that could have gone down really bad, but that's awkward that he still acts weird around you. <gasps> okay, oh my gosh, this one is so bad. Okay, I was in seventh grade, and I had a period accident. I was changing in the locker room, and let's just say the blood went everywhere. And I used my PE clothes to clean it up, and then left school. Were there not any, like, paper towels? Like, I get the urgency of the situation, you don't want other people to see. 
But your PE clothes? Did you have to throw them all away? Oh my gosh. I thought my life was embarrassing and you guys are making me feel better about myself, so thank you. Oh my gosh, wait, this is just funny. And it, it's not embarrassing for this person, it's embarrassing for the other person. So I dated a guy for a year and we only kissed twice because he was such a terrible kisser. After we broke up, I didn't kiss anyone for four years because I was terrified everyone kissed that bad. That is so funny. I kind of relate to this because, okay, so I had my first kiss when I was 11. So like in seventh grade, I had my last like boyfriend until like I started talking to guys like sophomore year of high school. So I went like three or four years without kissing anyone and I was like, oh my gosh, what if I just like don't know how to kiss anyone anymore? And I was like literally terrified so I was talking to this guy and I could tell like he always wanted to kiss and stuff and at this time like I'm like 15 at this point and I was just so scared it felt like my first kiss all over again like it almost didn't even feel like I'd ever had my first kiss in middle school so I was so embarrassed and so scared but it's okay everything went fine <laughs> oh my gosh y'all need to tri chill with peeing on yourselves at least this one's in third grade but still I mean you're like what nine in third grade when I was in third grade, I was walking home from school and I had to pee really bad, so I started running. And before I knew it, my legs and shoes were soaked. My friends and I never spoke about it after. I just like, at least go in a bush or something. Like, yes, I've had to pee really bad when there's no bathroom available, but there are trees and bushes and the side of the road, like, literally anything this is so awkward my great-grandmother's funeral was on my 10th birthday and of course my family was there and I got pulled into the middle of the room while we were eating and got sung happy birthday by everyone there can you imagine being at a funeral and getting sang happy birthday I would not I'd be like I don't know whose birthday it is that's not me I don't want anything to do with this leave me out of it that is so awkward. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And getting sung happy birthday to is awkward in the first place. Like, what do I do? And then at someone's funeral, at your great grandmother's funeral. I threw up in class and no one noticed except my friend who I sat next to. So my friend had to raise her hand and be like, help. And I was half passed out with purple throw up next to me that looked like a smoothie. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. Literally one of my biggest fears was throwing up at school. Like I did it a couple times in elementary school, but I mean, I was like a kid, so I didn't really think anything of it. But the older I got, like middle school and stuff, I was like, no, I will never, never throw up in school. I don't care how bad I have to throw up, I will run to the bathroom. I'm not throwing up in front of the class because that's embarrassing. And I didn't, so there we go. I'm so sorry for you. Y'all, there are so many about peeing yourself. I am concerned. I got off work and told my family that I'll meet them at the store. I was staring at someone who looked like my mom because she had a similar hairstyle like my mom's. So I kept staring, LOL. The daughter kept looking at me weird. Okay, I feel like everyone at some point has gone through a situation like this. When I was younger, I would run up to my mom and like, I would go under her shirt because I felt like safe and I was I was like kind of shy as a kid and one time I was I don't know how I remember this because I was probably like four I ran up to a woman who I thought was my mom because when you're four everyone is just tall and looks like your mom and I just went under her shirt and she was like um sweetie I'm not your mom <laughs> I was like so embarrassed um I wonder if my mom still remembers that Freshman year, leaving my college campus, I was distracted walking on my phone. The path I was walking on was made of small rocks, plus it was 100% unlevel, and well, you guessed it, I face planted on the sidewalk and tore a hole in the knee of my brand new American Eagle jeans. That is sad, because American Eagle jeans are definitely the best jeans. <laughs> hey, but at least you can like cut some holes in the knees like I do to my jeans, if that's the vibe. That's really embarrassing though, I hate tripping. I am like, for the longest time I used to be really clumsy and I would just trip for no reason, so I definitely relate to this one. I was on a road trip with my family and a bunch of my brother's friends. Okay, this sounds like a situation I would be in because I have a lot of brothers. Uh, when we were in the middle of nowhere, I started my period. Oof, been there. So I had to secretly put a tampon in the backseat of my car of middle school boys. Oh, you put the tampon in. I had to secretly put a tampon in, in the backseat of a car of middle school boys. It was terrible and he still hangs out with them to this day. Did any of them notice? Oh my gosh, I've never done that. I've never like, I would be like, we need to go pull over. I got something to do. Like I get the awkward situation, but oh my gosh, you just like subtly just stuck it right up there. Like. <laughs> That's so awkward. Hopefully you have like a blanket or something. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for this 
event that happened to you. <laughs> when I was like 10, my brothers and his friends came over to my house. I was bothering them like a great younger sister. Been there. And they started chasing me. I was heading up the stairs and my brother had the bright idea of pantsing me. I've also been there, but my underwear came down too. It's so embarrassing. I would be traumatized. Oh my gosh. Especially like his friends were over too. Ugh. Cause like, okay, my brothers used to have friends come over and spend the night all the time. And we'd all just like hang out in the theater room until it's time for bed. Then I would go into my room. And so I'm sure I have plenty of things, but I just can't remember them. I was giving a speech in front of thousands of people and I got a sudden feeling of stage fright and my nose started to bleed and I passed out. When I woke up, the principal was hovering over me, yelling into the microphone that was still on. She's covered in blood. Ew, call 911. I was so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. I would be embarrassed too. I always get secondhand embarrassment. So like when we go to like choir things, you know how you have to stand like on the... What are those called? What are the, the bleachers? That's not what they're called, are they? Anyway, you guys know what I mean. This person who was on the very top one, like, locked her knees and fell while we were, like, singing. And I just got so much secondhand embarrassment. I'm like, ooh. There's so many things in life, I'm like, that, that would just be too embarrassing, so I just won't be participating. The first time I did it was in a car parking lot. Anyways, it was late and I saw these bright lights and we panicked and started getting dressed. It was a cop doing a check because someone reported the car sitting there all day and they had a tow truck. So I got my first time and his car towed, so I had to walk home. <sighs> oh, that's so awkward. I am so sorry. <laughs> at least it's not like, at least you had your clothes on by the time the cop got there. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I've had some situations. <laughs> oh, speaking of no pants, wait, I have a story about last night. So I was taking pictures for a Valentine's Day photo shoot and I was wearing a big like oversized hoodie and I was like, oh, I need to change my outfit. So I'm just gonna wear no pants in some of the pictures. Um, I'll insert them if I have them already. But um, like you couldn't tell I wasn't wearing pants, but I literally had no pants. Like I was only wearing underwear underneath. And we were on the top of a parking garage that you weren't supposed to be on top of. And so the security guard came out. He was super chill. He was like, I just have to ask you guys to leave. I'm sorry. And I was like, all right, can I take one more picture? And he was like, sure, you can take a few more. Just, you know, leave soon. And he was like really cool about it. But <laughs> I just had no pants on. I was like, yep, we're good. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, but you definitely couldn't tell. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for today's embarrassing stories. Today was a little bit more light. I'm hoping to get into these more crazy ones in the next episode. So definitely stay tuned for part two of your embarrassing stories because some of these are insane and I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one, which will be on Monday. Bye!